Good afternoon, folks. After uh, some discussions with one of our members, I just noticed we don't have a good video on the smart gun build. So guess what we're covering today? And I'll throw in a few little extra goodies. Okay, first off, this is designed by Sean Mao. Uh, uses a Trinket Pro 5 volt and a. This is the. That's the Trinket Pro 5 volt. This is the FX Soundboard Mini. I always go with the 16 meg. I'm sorry, that's not the FX Soundboard Mini. That is the FX Soundboard. Uh, and that is a 3.7 watt Class D amplifier uh, going out to a 4 ohm 3 watt speaker. It's not putting out enough noise to really damage anything. This is a uh, push button on off switch. This is a four segment, uh, 14, no, I'm sorry. This is a four digit, 14 segment LCD display. Uh, these are just, uh, you know, snap lock connectors. They're a great way to save space and make things usable. Uh, depending on your circumstances, you may or may not want to use solder. I build everything so I can fix it on the fly. Uh, this is what I use for the conventions, just to showcase things. Now, this is a USB to breadboard adapter type. I just plug it into this nice little 85 or 35 watt adapter. Uh, notice here that only the black and the red wires are hooked up. You know, red is uh, positive, black is negative. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Nice thing about that switch is it completely isolates the power and gives a nice on off. Okay, loads the five uh, bullets into the chamber. This is the trigger. Super bright LED. To reload, simply reboot, and this is all stuff you can buy from Adafruit. I recommend them because they have online support. They're American-made. Support companies in your country works great now the key notes things to note here let's get a good you know that's a TX and RX that's for serial UART mode you know it's it's reverse so you know send is receive and receive is send so it's TX on one end RX on the other end and it, it's all a matter of viewing your you know how you're talking because you're sending on one end and receiving on the other end and, and vice versa so and it uses that for serial triggering you know in UART mode and that's part of the software way it's set up uh, the A3 and A4 oh, I'm sorry A4 and A5 are the uh, what was it? The yes is the I2C SDA SEL. Uh, this is a nice little product put out by Adafruit. Just lists all the pins. It's a good, quick, handy reference to have with you. I use it all the bloody time. Uh, Okay, now the nice thing about this one, and the bad thing, they removed the the option of buying one with the integrated amp. It was causing some other issues. This uh, goes out to the speaker, and it goes to here. 
and then this goes to the speaker and that's your uh, power in right there this is uh, you know amplification you know plus 18 db I just keep it maxed I actually ended up starting soldering this stuff because these like to get loose and have poor connection over time just the nature of the beast and these are your trigger pins one safety one's you know the trigger and let's see you know and that goes to four and five here the TX and RX now you know five volt and bus you got bat plus and ground those are going to come from to here and then you know from here oh, let's see. and I just use these because it's a great way to split out the wires and try to keep things short and nice and neat uh, I'll probably get this in an acrylic case before it's over with. It's just a matter of time and making things look pretty. It's all about aesthetics and presentation. Uh, let's see if I can... Okay, I'm going to turn this off. There's just not good light. Did I? Pretty sure I bought one. Okay, well, I now I might have one somewhere but you know that's how it works it's a fairly simple program the only other kicker i would note is the serial uart mode has to be disabled if you want to hook up the usb so you can run diagnostics you know either there or there this allows you to do all sorts of advanced serial troubleshooting uh, handy stuff um uh other stuff i'm starting to work on i'm trying to get back to my predator control board controlled with the Wii nunchuck I just got to figure out what's going on make sure I got all the wires crossed I think one of my uh, little bundles of joy I had one weekend reversed some wires on me just to be cute uh, cute and electronics don't mix generally but this is just a rough prototype this is what will eventually go in the backpack and I'll just be able to control this and I'll make sounds uh these are nice these plug in these give a voltage reading they won't work if you got them reversed polarity uh just put in perspective this is some stuff i stick in this box with it just because it transports better uh these are paper craft unit put out by humlaz in i believe it's czechoslovakia uh very and he built this stuff before Pepecura really took off. That or he didn't have money to, which is also a fairly common issue. And when you don't have money, you get creative to make things work. Uh, this is a resin cast one I got from Golden Armor. Uh, paint's wearing off. I probably need to go ahead and touch it up. Uh, just, uh, you know, there's cuddles. Uh, just to note the two different, uh, viewer housings, uh, just to follow up from the previous video. This is one from Nicotron. He had switched to a, uh, you know, clear resin deal. His is cast as basically one unit. And there's nothing wrong with the way Spat did it. It's actually more movie accurate. Is this is all one piece. I just got to figure out a good way to secure it. And make it look pretty. But I did a special order from uh, Nick Bedwell before he closed up shop. Uh, one of the problems right now is with 3D printing and everything else exploding. It's becoming you know very difficult to stay in business especially with the immediacy and demands of social media and that all that entails so 
this was my attempt. I was thinking of put doing acrylic wrap around and then just put stuff in a speaker in here to help with the throw and the sound. I'd be better off doing a 3D print and then model around the speaker on the motion tracker. But I generally carry it like this and it's fared fairly well. The only issue, time I run into issues is when the battery pack gets a little too low and then it doesn't get too happy. Cause, and if you get, this is the other, other part to the uh, Predator Cannon. I'm just, uh, this is a rough up, this is a push button servo control board, and this is just so I can get stuff prototyped in place, and then once I get this working, I've got everything set, then I just have to update the uh, programming, and it's all good. So, oh, and this was Humlaz's. Uh I apparently lost a screw, I'm going to have to go hunting and this is one put out by SD studios anything other than the minor snafu they had with the men in black neuralizer which uh, rumor is they're put coming out with another men in black yes you are hearing beeping Yeah, it's got two modes. One is I'm gonna have to fix that.